rise and shine and welcome to school today rise and shine and welcome to school today rise and shine and welcome to school today I'm so glad you're here rise and shine and Welcome to school today. Did you clap with me? Are you singing? Happy Monday! Hi everybody, I hope you're coming back from a great weekend. You have new work packets with lots of fun things that I planned for you. And it's so good to see you on Zoom. I saw some of you picking up your packets. So good to see you, I miss you. Mr. Vote and I are here again this week to do some fun things at school. But who else is here? It's not Froggy, Freddy Froggy. Who is this, do you think? Oh, he's go I'll hold him like this because it keeps him still. It's Willy Weasel. A weasel is a real animal, and we've talked about him before, remember? He's so long, his nose starts here, and he goes up the hill and down the hill, and his tail is on this end, still going down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill, Willy Weasel Wa. That's our new letter this week. The same letter that begins with Wa Wa Wheezy. Wheezy, I hope you had a happy, happy birthday. This week we have a new birthday. Let's find out who it is and let's go to the calendar. Willy Weasel, you stay right here for now. We're going to have fun with him in a little while. But, well, maybe I better set him down because he gets a little wiggly. Wiggly. So let's put him down. How about if he put, stays right oh, up here for a minute? And let's go to our calendar. We'll get up nice and close to see the season is spring. The month is April. April showers. It is still April. The year is 2020. What a crazy year this has been so far. How many days have we had in April? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By now you should have ten fingers. Some of you are learning to count so high. Bundle them up, ten. Put them in your tens place. And start over again at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, I hear you still counting. That's awesome. 17 was Wheezy's birthday. Nobody was here Saturday. We have to put 18 up. You're right. 18. 19 was Sunday. Sunday was a sunny, warmer day outside. Oh, I hope spring warm weather is coming soon. 19, 20, 20. Let's count to 20 again, because we want everybody to know how to count to 20. That would be awesome. Let's try it with our fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Good job, I see you doing it. Seven, who's not doing it? Please do it with us. Eight, nine, ten. But we keep going. There's one ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We don't say ten teen. Nineteen. 20, because we have two tens, 20. Bundle them up, put them in our tens place. So that's why that number looks like that. Two in the tens place, two tens, and no more left over. They're all bundled up. So there's a zero on the end. Is it Sunday? No. Is it Monday? Yes. The first day of our school week is Monday, and that's the name of the day. We'll put these back. The name is Monday, so we look for a big, most important, capital M, for most important names. Use a capital M. 
Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. You come back tomorrow for some more crazy fun. Yesterday was Sunday when we started the week on a beautiful Sunday. Today is, can you see that boys and girls? Monday. Give me a M-O-N. M-O-N. Give me a D-A-Y. D-A-Y. What does that spell? Monday. Yay, Monday. Oh, I can tell you guys are really ready to go. Good job. Monday. Let's see. Sunny is the weather. So we'll come all the way over to our weather graph. And one day last week we had a snowy day. So we marked that snowy on here because we forgot to do it. So April had a snowy day. That was an April Fool's, wasn't it? What a crazy weather that was. Let's see. Sunny. Purple, pink, blue. Purple, we're following a pattern. Let's do it again. Purple, pink, blue, purple, pink. Right, after purple comes pink. This is an A, B, C pattern. It has three colors. Purple, pink, blue, purple, pink. Oh, I heard someone who said that sunny and cloudy are the same? Good job reading the information on the graph. That is so smart of you. We say they're equal. You're right. They're the same right now. We haven't had any rainy days during our school time, so we don't mark rain when it's not on a school time. Now, it might rain at night, but we only graph what's happening during school, don't we? And we haven't had any rain yet. But Weather Bear's still wearing his rain suit and case because we know April's showers bring May flowers. There's usually lots of rain in April. And rain is coming because it makes living things grow. Animals need water to drink. Plants need water to grow. When the rain comes down, it rains on the lakes and the ponds and the rivers. It rains on the grass. It rains on our roof. Oh, can you do this poem with me? We're going to do our songs and poems after a while. But can you do this one with me? Rain on the housetops. Rain on the trees. Make a tree. Rain on my umbrella. But not on me. Because I'm uh, uh, under the umbrella. Umber Umbrella Bird has an umbrella, doesn't he? And he stays dry. Let's do it one more time. I bet some of you remember this from last year. Let's do it again. Rain on the housetops. Rain on the trees. Rain on my umbrella. But not on me. See, we're nice and dry under our umbrellas, aren't we? April showers. We're going to do some rainy things and rain songs this week for springtime because it's a sign of life. Rain brings life, doesn't it? Now if we look at our um, board about living things, all living things grow and change. We've learned about birds hatching from eggs. Eggs are sure, a sure sign of spring and new life because life animals come from those eggs and they're alive when they pop out. And down here we had the life cycle of the frog. Last week we did a lot of things with frogs. You saw little movies with frogs. We sang songs about frogs at the pond. All right, and this week we're gonna be talking more about rain and mud and water, and the earth, that's all signs of life. We're still celebrating Easter and God's special love for us. He loved us so much, he sent his son, what was his name, Jesus, yes. He sent Jesus to earth to teach us all about God's love. And then Jesus loved us so much, he died on the cross 
and took all our sins and all the things that we've, bad choices and things we've done wrong, he took them with him to heaven and helped us, saved us. And now we know if we follow God's teachings and God's word and Jesus' love, we will go to heaven too. So this spring is about new life. New life for us, new life for all the springtime things around us. And that's what we're celebrating this spring. It's a good time to celebrate life right now. Be happy that things are changing and growing around us. Now before we do anything else, come on over, Mr. Boat. Did you remember every day we come to school, we put a counting stick in? Just one. We go over to our number board. How many days of school have we had? One hundred. Two in the tens place, that makes 10 and 20. 129. Nine little ones in the ones place. Now, boys and girls know what to do. Mr. Vote has never been here when we've had this happen because we started doing it just recently. We're gonna put that in here, watch what happens. What comes after nine? Maybe we better take them all out, make sure there's nine. One, help me count, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beep, 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 beep. Are you, oh, I hear it, I hear it. Why are you beeping? Oh, it's a lot of noise. Beep, beep, beep. It was full, wasn't it? When it gets to 10, it's full. Can we keep 10 in the ones place? No, we have to bundle them up. We have to bundle those up. Get a rubber band out. See how they're all empty in the ones place. Look, there's nothing in there anymore. We're gonna bundle this 10. There's our 10. We're gonna, where does it go? Does it go with a hundred? No, it's only 110. It has, you're right, yes, so smart. It goes in the tens place. One ten, two tens. Now we have three tens in the tens place. So we're gonna change this two. There goes the two tens. And we're gonna make it three tens. <gasps> Three tens? Well, then how many is in the ones? We have to change. It's not nine anymore. You're right. There's zero. <gasps> 10, 20, 30. 10, 20. And we had 29. And we got one more. 29, 30. So now we have three tens to put in our tens place. 130 days of school. Zero, the hero's round the bend. He's looking at the number on the end. He's looking at the number on the end. When he sees a zero, see the zero? He shouts, hooray, cause it's zero, the hero day. Zero is our hero, we shout, hooray. This is his very special day. He comes with a surprise for everyone so that we can have lots of fun. Hi, Zero the Hero. It's been so long since you've been here. And I know there's no children here. Where are the children? Oh, it's okay. It's all right. They'll be back. The good news is they're coming back and lots more new friends will come back with uh, them someday. There's going to be a lot more kids in our class. More kids are coming and so don't cry. Don't be sad. They're, they're with us at home behind the camera. Oh, he's saying hi to all you boys and girls. Hi everybody. Hi Ari. Hi Fonzie and Millie. Hi, Charlotte, Charlie, Maya. Hi, Jay. 
and Wheezy and all the kids at home, Natalie and Stephanie and Ryan and Rhett. Wow, Olivia and Reagan. Wow, Punky, hi Hans, Jimmy, Joey. Wow, Emmy and Noah Clark, Noah Sharon, Leland, Kinley, and don't forget Izzy. Hello, everybody. Lane and Lola. Hello, Quinn. Did we get everybody? Hello, Knox. Yay, Hans. And all you brothers and sisters and friends all over America who are watching with us, this is Zero the Hero. He comes when there's zero in the one's place. 130 days of school. The pocket's empty, it's zero. So he usually comes with a zero-shaped treat. Right. So everybody at home, sometime today, you get yourself a zero-shaped treat. It could be a gummy lifesaver. It could be a Cheerio. It could be a licorice turned like a zero. We've done that before. Something shaped like a zero. Right? A donut, yes. A bagel, a Fruit Loop. Be sure you have something today. Zero sad. He can't pass out anything today. He's our superhero. You want to stay with us today, Zero the Hero? Yeah, don't be sad. Because you're here with Mr. Vote and I. And all the kids will come back. And even more friends, too. We'll do it again when they're all here. Okay. How about if you sit with... Willy Weasel, okay? You two guys are crazy. You two crazy friends can sit together right here. See if we can get him to stay. You know he loves to come and stay out all day during Zero the Hero Day. 130 days, wow. Okay, before we do the rug, I need your help writing a song. Do you think you could write a song with me? You know, in the spring, it's really muddy. Some of you who live on the farm know that you have to wear your what, mud boots, your rain boots, your barn boots, because it's muddy. You don't want to get your shoes muddy. When rain comes down and liquid water mixes with dirt, it gets gooey, dirty, muddy, doesn't it? So in the spring, it's mud time of year, isn't it? It's muddy. So. Today, we're gonna write our own mud song and we're gonna sing it, all right? So let's write it first. Come right over here. Let's see, the mud song. Can you see, Mr. Vote, that green paper over there on the table? There it is, and we'll get ready. Now, I need you to help me. I'm gonna write mud is and I'm going to write it lots of times. Mud is. Big kids, you can see that word is. I, s, is. That's a new word for us to know. Is. You know some other words. Let's take the words out that you know from our chart. because we're gonna be using these words more this week. And I, I don't want you to forget them. Remember this word? I, T-H-E, the, can, we're gonna use that word this week. And the word see, Oh, good, I can tell you've been reading your little books and working on your, your words. You haven't forgot them. That's really good. Well, this is a new word. Is. Oh, is. Is. So, can you help me think of some words about mud? Mud is. Oh, you're right. Mud is gooey. Mud is gooey. Mud is right. I heard someone say brown. It is brown because dirt is brown, and then when it gets wet, it gets darker brown. Mud is wet. 
good one. Mud is wet. And I'm going to write mud, mud, mud. I need to write it eight times for our song. So let's see if we have eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have to write mud again. Mm, ud. Six, seven, mud. And you're right, one more. One more, mud. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're helping me write a song. Did you ever know that you, you can write a song? That's why it's good to learn to read and write, because you can do all kinds of things. Mud is gooey. Mud is brown. Mud is wet. There's that word is again, so let's write it again. Is. Mud is. Mud is, ugh, you're right, it's gooey and sticky. We had gooey, let's write sticky. Sticky. So we have gooey, brown, wet, sticky. Oh, you're right. It's messy, isn't it? When you, if you play in it and squish it, you'll get all messy. So let's write M mud is, here's our new word, is, what did we say? What word did we say? Messy. That's right. Messy. Mm, messy. Mud is squishy. Ooh, who said that one? That's a good one. Squa. Squa. Ishy. Mud is squishy. Mud is gross. That's a good one. It is gross. Some kids don't like it. Some kids do not like to play in the mud because you get it in your fingers. But you know, you can wash it off later. Now, never play in the mud unless you ask mom and dad first. But it really is fun to get out there and pretend you're making food or mud pie. Splash and step in it. You can make a pile, a mountain. You can play in the mud, but first ask mom and dad. And it should be warm day. And you should have your old clothes on. But it's fun. After the rain, you can find mud. Now we need one more, don't we? Mud is... Oh, uh, did you say stinky? Who said stinky? That's a good one. Stinky. Yes, if you play in mud long enough, you'll come in the house and everybody will go, ooh, what have you been doing? You will see in our mud song that kind of happens in our mud song. Stinky. We just wrote a song. Thank you for helping me. Do you want me to sing it? Then you can sing it with me. It goes like this. Mud is gooey. Mud is brown. Mud is wet. Mud is sticky. Mud is messy. Mud is squishy. Squish, squish, squish. Mud is gross. Mud is stinky. writing it with me. I like that end part about gross and stinky. That's what mud is, isn't it? Well, let's come to our rug for a minute. Thanks for writing a song. We're going to sing that mud song all week. You guys are great writers. If you think of new words, you can write it at home and make your own mud song. Okay, last week we were working with frogs, weren't we? We know that frogs come alive out of eggs. Let's look down here. Before we start with our other activities today, I want you to see my little froggy cards. Here's Freddy Frog with his sticky, sticky feet and his great big fat, um, long, big, strong back feet for hopping. 
And you remember he's got that long sticky tongue. That's right. Well, I have some froggy cards. Let's put them down. I want you to help me talk. Today we're gonna think about sizes. Do you know we've talked about things that go in order, like numbers, one, two, three, four, five, letters, A, B, C, D, E. We talk about how an, a chick hatches and grows, and that goes in an order. Stories have a beginning and a middle part and an end to the story. Well, sizes go in order too, and we've done this before this year. But look, should we put them in order from smallest to the biggest? Yeah, oh, Frog says that's a good idea. Freddie, you're soft today, Freddie. It feels good in this classroom to be warm with you. Let's see, Freddie, which one's the smallest? Smallest, yes. Let's put that first because it's the smallest, littlest one. You might be the smallest in your house. You might be the youngest. So we would start with the smallest. Then which one is a little bit bigger? Just a little bigger than this one. Oh, no, yeah, not that one. That's really big, isn't it, Freddie? All right, let, let's look at these two close and see if we can tell which one would be smaller. Oh, this one is smaller, isn't it? So let's try it. You can always change your mind when you're done and, and move them around. Let's, oh, I like that one. Let's hop it right there and let's hop this one right. Did we put them in order from smallest to the biggest, yes. One, or first, second, third, fourth. They're in order. Now let's change it around one time before we move on to another game. And oh, if you were here, you'd be helping me, wouldn't you, on our rug activities after calendar. Now let's try it this way. How about biggest to the smallest? Let's start with the biggest and go all the way down to the smallest. At your house, you would probably have to start with your dad or your mom, wouldn't you? The biggest, then go to the smallest. We're putting them in order by their size, sizes today. So let's see, we said biggest. Which one, Freddie? Which one's the biggest, like you? Oh, there it is and it's stuck. Oh no, Freddie. I don't know about this. All right, let's see. Yeah, there, we got it off, didn't we? I don't know about you touching these cards and getting them all sticky. That's how frogs, remember, climb up a tree. Their, their feet are sticky. That's pretty cool, isn't it? They don't have big claws like bears. They have sticky stuff on their feet, just like they have a sticky, sticky tongue that, that helps them catch things. Let's see, after the biggest one, we don't want to put this one, do we? No, he's that tiny one. Let's move him over here. Now, it's always good to, you can put them right next to each other to measure with your eyes. Which one would be just a little smaller than the biggest? Yeah, he's pretty big, but he's not quite as big as this one. Could that be the dad, the mom? Oh, look at those two. Would we want to put it like this? What's wrong with that? Why are you laughing? What's wrong? Big and a little smaller and really small and... Oops. Uh-oh. I see too, Freddy. There's a problem here, isn't there? This little one has to go on the end. Oh, you guys are so smart. Yes, that's how we put them in order, a new way, from biggest to the smallest. Good job, frog, frog, frogs, new life. Okay, now, remember when we learned that frogs come from eggs? And we did this one day last week. These little googly eyes look like eggs, frog eggs, don't they? And this is the pond. We know that 
A pond is a habitat for all kinds of animals. A habitat is a place where animals love to live. Special animals live in their own special habitat. So these eggs, we're gonna do some story problems before we end today, okay? We've had a busy time with Zero the Hero. Oh, okay, Zero. Okay, Willie, they say, hey, how about us? Can't we sit and watch? Okay, Willie Weasel. <laughs> yes, and Zero the Hero. Everybody's here with me because I can't have you guys. So I might as well have my other friends here. All right, now let's see. We have our board and I need a marker. We're gonna do some math story problems. You guys love story problems, don't you? We love to figure out answers to our number stories. So here's our board, and we're going to write on here. Let's say we had a frog laid. How many eggs is that? Let's all count and see. One, two. I like to move them right out of the way when I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I could put six right there. Or I could put it down here like a 10 frame. Five, six. So let's write that on our board that we had six froggy eggs. And the frog, Mama Frog came back and laid, let's say, three more. So we're going to put add three more. Let's add three more. One, two, three. <gasps> Should we count and see how many eggs all together? How many eggs all together? Can you say that with me? How many eggs all together? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine frog eggs all together. Look, what would happen if we added one more? I heard some of you say there's an empty spot. What if we put that there? How many eggs would there be? Yes, we just did another story problem. We just did a whole nother story. I don't know why that's not erasing very good. Let's see. We did nine and one more. That makes 10. Like our Zero the Hero Day. 10. Good job. Now we're going to do something different with our story. I'm going to change the story. See if this erases. There, that's erasing better. Let's say we hit start with 10. This is new. What if we start with 10? There's our number 10. But what if a fish comes along or something else comes along like a snake? What if something tries to eat some eggs? What if an animal comes along and eats five. One, two, three, four, five. What if we take away five? The frog didn't add any more. Oh no, five went away. Now how many if we take away five? Five went away. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. The top row is still there. How many do we have left? Only five. Let's do another problem. Let me erase my board. We like to write on these boards when we're in school, don't we? I'll erase my board and let's start with five since we have five. Down and a Fat old five goes down and around. Put a flag on top. And look what we found. Five. Down and around and put a flag on top. Five. We have five eggs. And let's say that something comes along and eats two. What 
if something eats two of the eggs? What if a fish comes alive? How many will be left? Oh, we're going away. The fish came and ate two. We take away two. How many are left? One, two, three. Three are left. What happens if something comes along and eats those three? What if we start with three and something eats those three? How many will we have left if these three go away and get eaten? Zero. None are left. Zero. Zero the hero. Zero's number. There are no eggs on the, at the pond. Thank you for helping me solve some of my story problems today. We added eggs and then we took away eggs and we found out how many were left and we ended up with zero. Come to the singing and song and movement time now and we're gonna do some of our favorites. We'll see you then.